Hey guys, RTT back here for that video. Guys, sorry about my video yesterday. The audio was actually messed up. But this is actually coming in from 9to5Google, who went ahead and posted this article by Ben Shroom, who actually talks about how the Galaxy Z Fold 4, Z Fold 4 popped up on Amazon and showed off a new S Pen cover case in an Android 12L taskbar. So let's go ahead and break this down. Starting off right away, yes, we don't 100% know what the new software will be for the Galaxy Z Fold 4. We do know it's going to most likely release with One UI 4.1.1, but we don't know the exact software. Would it be Android 12? Would it be Android 13? Would it be Android 12L? Now, what is Android 12L if you guys are new? Well, Android 12L is Android 12 but for a large screen slash foldable phones slash tablets. It's a software that, you know, us Microsoft Surface Duo fans have been waiting forever to see on our Surface Duo devices. Yet, it has not been released for the Surface Duo yet. So, it could make its debut with, of course, the Galaxy Z Fold 4, which, based on what we understand, will no longer be called the Galaxy Z Fold 4. It's going to be called the Galaxy Fold 4. They're getting rid of the Z because of issues going around the world. Uh, if you guys want to look into that, go look into that. I'm not going to break that down. But anyway, though, they're getting rid of the Z. All right, so here is what popped up on Amazon. So as you guys know, when you, if you look at Amazon uh, posting, you can scroll down and you see all the pictures and inscriptions, all that kind of stuff. So it says that it's going to be a 6.2 inch display with a dynamic AMOLED 2 times Infinity O display, which adaptive 120 hertz. So yes, the outside display will be giving us 120 hertz outside display, which... To be honest, is an absolute W. Let's be honest, it's an absolute W right there. Uh, the inside display will be a 7.6 inch inside display, which again will be a dynamic AMOLED two times infinity flex display, which will be of course 120 hertz. So what we already kind of understood and knew is pretty much the same exact thing, which will be of course that the outside inside will be 120 hertz. Um, and of course, this also changes a little bit because now that um, the inner display also moves to a wider 21.6 by 18 um, instead of it being a 5 by 4 aspect ratio. So changing up a little bit. Again, we already know that this phone's going to be a little bit bigger and smaller in different categories. The hinge, obviously, and you guys can see in the pictures, the hinge is smaller on the Z Fold on the Fold 4 than it is on the Z Fold 3. So, hinge a little bit different, smaller, definitely interesting. Let's go ahead and go down here. So, now we have two different pictures here, and this is what's really interesting. This is the Android 12L's taskbar being shown in both of these pictures. So, you guys see where his finger is? That's the Android 12L taskbar. And if that's the case, most likely this will be running Android 12L. Now, the two different pictures here, I know it doesn't have, obviously, English. It says multitasking can be done easily. And the first picture uh, says that it is um, plenty of space for productivity. So, there's a tra roughly your translations for both these images. And as you guys can see, on both these images, it's the same old ports at the bottom so nothing too crazy special we have what looks to be a speaker grill at on the one side of the phone we have a USB-C port on the right side with it looks like a microphone jack right there and that's pretty much that so not really revealing too much about the phone in these pictures but we're gonna be seeing that going down the list here now you guys can see even though yes these are product pictures these are pictures created strictly like with amazing you know angles so they look perfect right you guys can see at the very top of this picture where the blue is there is a crease there is you can see a little bit of a crease obviously yes there is you know these are two different windows and whenever you are checking out you know when it comes to uh if you ever use z fold 3 when you have two different sides just like on the right hand side here there's a little thing down the middle like a little line but it looks like the top here looks like an actual crease rather than an actual line. Now, obviously, yes, we know there will be a crease on the Z Fold 3, uh, on the Fold 4. 
but it's supposed to be a lot less than the Z Fold 3. It's supposed to be a lot better than the Z Fold 3. So again, like I said, I just got to put it out there. Just got to put it out there. All right, so now going down the list here, we actually have the pen cover case. So last year's pen cover case was actually really interesting. The reason why is because it actually went across the side where the hinge was. And I kind of liked it, but disliked it in some scenarios. It was kind of weird because of the orientation. I'm not used to the pen being on the hinge. But I'll be honest with you. Obviously, we now know based on these photos, most likely we're not going to have a pen silo like we have on the Galaxy S22 uh, Ultra. So we're most likely going to have, again, it be in a weird orientation because now it's on the back, but it's not like on the back in the corner. It's three, it one third into the phone. I, I don't know how I feel about that. I really don't know how I feel about the orientation of this uh, being just like right there. I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world. Don't get me wrong. It definitely isn't the worst looking, but it definitely is. It's interesting because you can never lay the phone, the, the phone. You can never lay the phone flat now. Like, for example, this is a, a S22 Ultra. You lay it flat. You have an iPhone 13 Pro Max. You can lay it flat. You can't lay this phone flat, which I don't know how I feel about that. I don't really like the orientation of the S Pen on this one. I mean, on the yeah, on this uh, S Pen, I don't really like it. So, <clears throat> of course, um, as you guys see, those are the cameras we have right here. Looks like we also have a speaker grill at the top of the phone here, uh, which another microphone port. We also, of course, do have triple cameras, and we of course do have a flash right here. But I, I don't know how I feel. I don't know how I feel now. This phone looks absolutely beautiful. And if it does come out in Android 12L, it's going to be very optimized for this. And hopefully that also means we're going to spark a debate into hopefully my Surface Zero can go ahead and get Android 12L too. But I would definitely say, you know, overall wise, I can't wait to get this phone in my hands. I can't wait to get this phone in my hands and reviewing it for the channel, guys, because... <sighs> There's a lot to look at, man. A lot to break down. A lot to, you know, really diagnose with this. And, of course, keep in mind, the outside display, which before the Z Fold 3 did not have S Pen support, most likely, based on rumors, will have S Pen support. So, this S Pen would actually be a lot more useful than just having the inside display, which the inside display is supposed to be more durable. Uh, but also the outside display will also have S Pen support, so that will be very nice. And we can see right here the hinge also being a little bit smaller. I'll also say this S Pen cover case, I do not like these type of cases. So what it looks like, right, it looks like it's a um, snap-on plastic case. It might be rubber. It might end up being rubber, and it might just be a, you know, kind of slide on. With the last iteration of the S Pen cover case, it was one side snapped in and the other side kind of was a cover, you know, like a, obviously a pen cover case. This one looks like it snapped one on both sides. And based on what it looks like with the hinge here, you guys can see it's not connected all the way. I wonder if it's going to be just two plastic pieces that slide on each side of the phone. And if that's the case, that's going to be horrendous. Because when you open it up, sometimes they're not lined up correctly. Or one side will slide off of the phone a little bit. It scratches your phone. It scratches your front or your back of your phone. I absolutely dislike when that completely. So I'm really hoping that's not the case. And this S Pen cover case ends up being a lot better than it is. But based on looking at this S Pen cover right here... I am not buying this S Pen cover. I might buy it for a video, show it off, break it down, you know, really give you guys my thoughts and opinions. But if I'm a re regular consumer, and by the way, whenever I say stuff like that, I don't mean it like, you know, like I'm saying I won't buy it. Obviously, I'm going to buy it for the channel, guys. I'm going to show it off on the channel. But like, if I'm a regular consumer, I'm not buying this case. I'm not buying this case at all. I'm waiting to see whatever Amazon or Best Buy, whatever company comes out with a better case. I mean, obviously not Best Buy, but I mean like whatever seller on those websites come out with a better case because I am not rocking this case. I absolutely dislike any 
cover cases on these type of phones any hard plastic cases um you know i had one for the surf zero one i had one for the surf zero two and it just absolutely no no the s pen cover for the surf zero two with the silicone i'm okay with that now I'll, I'll let that slide i can't let this one slide but anyway guys thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed this video the likes coming down below see you guys next one peace out